Hello, friends and artists. Mrs. Gordon here. So happy to see you and continue with our lettering projects. Um, this week is a very important week for our nation. This week, we have Martin Luther King um, holiday to celebrate the life of the important American, Dr. Martin Luther King. So you just watched um, a little video of Mrs. Gordon telling you about the work of Lisa Congdon, uh, lettering artist. And you've also just watched a video of a book called Martin's Big Words. And so now we're gonna pair the two together and we're gonna make a piece of art using some of Martin's big words and using, um, Lisa Congdon's ideas uh, for lettering. So I just want to take a deeper dive. So you're going to find some, um, some words uh, inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King, maybe look up a quote or go back and rewatch part of Martin's big words. Um, one of his most famous phrases is the beginning of his I have a dream speech. So I've made a little piece of art with that. Um, I pulled out a couple of other quotes that I might want to use um, in uh, my art. And free at last, free at last. Um, that's part of what, some of his big words that he used. Um, and I, always, I also really like this one. And I think this is the one I might use. The time is always right to do what is right. Um, so you're going to find a quote from Dr. King. And then you're going to think about Lisa Congdon's work. Um, and... There are two different ideas I kind of want you to think about. You can use either of the two options. You could draw a picture and write the words in the picture like Lisa did with this bird. And she wrote the um, your actions matter. And then she added a pattern on the outside. Um, that's kind of what I did with I Have a Dream. I drew a bird and I wrote the words in, um, in the middle of the bird. And then I drew a cloud pattern behind. Um, or you could do something where you write the words on the page and then draw pictures around the words. And I'm going to show you a neat little trick for making your lettering um, really interesting. So I think I'm going to, I already did this one and I'll show you that one more. Um, but I think I'm going to do this one and I think I'm going to either use free at last, free at last, or uh, the time is always right to do what is right. Let's see what happens. I do need a piece of paper though. You grab a piece of paper. All right, I've got paper. You've got paper, I hope. You will need paper. You will need a pencil. You will need a, maybe a marker or a dark crayon for your lettering. Um, you will need something to add color to your work. Maybe crayons, markers, colored pencils, watercolor paint, some other kind of paint that you have at home. And so let me just get out of this. Get out of the screen, oops. And let me get to here. All right. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. Let me move myself over. There we go. All right. We're cooking with gas now. All right, friends and artists, so I think I'm going to hold my picture horizontally. You can hold it horizontally or vertically. It's up to you. This one I held horizontally, too. And for this one, I drew uh, the bird first. So I drew a circle for the head. I added an oval for the body. I added in the wings. I added in the tail. Um, and then I erased my construction lines and just drew um, a marker uh, marker it in the shape around him. And then I first wrote with pencil and then I went in and wrote with marker. And what, um, what I had to talked to you about is um, that an interesting way to make your letters look interesting is by thickening up some of the lines in your letters. And so that's what I'm going to show you. Um, now for this one, I think I'm going to have the letters be the center of it. Um, and again, the quote is, the time is always right to do what is right. So I'm going to write it out first, lightly in pencil. And I haven't really planned this out. So uh, I think I'm going to use capitals for this. 
and you can make it all lined up straight. You can Um, and I'm writing it lightly with pencil first. Now I kind of move my words, and here I decided to keep them straight. It's always right to, and then I think what I'll do here is I'll make my O into a clock to do what is right. I wouldn't worry too much about like, period. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about um, making it lined up exactly. That's one of the reasons why I love Lisa Congdon's work is because um, is because like it's everything's not always lined up perfectly. So then I'm just going to go over my letters with marker. And I can always go back in later and erase. Um, and because we're talking about time, that's what made me think about using a clock face for that. And this um, just really, this quote just really stuck with me. Because I've been talking today about feelings and how every single feeling that we have is okay to have. Like it's okay to be mad. It's okay to be sad. Those sometimes people kind of classify those as bad feelings or wrong feelings, but no feeling that you have is wrong. They are your feelings. And every feeling that you have is exactly the feeling that you're supposed to have. Um, but what you can do is you can control what you can control and what you can think about changing. Instead of thinking about changing your feeling, think about changing your reaction to your feeling. Um, so it is totally okay to be mad. We all get mad. Uh, but what we want to think about is what happens when we get mad. Do we want to hit somebody? No, it's probably not a good idea to hit somebody, you know, because ultimately that's something you might feel guilty about, which is another feeling that is okay to have. That means that you know what's right and what's wrong. Phone call. Hello? Hey, good. I'm recording a lesson. <laughs> that's okay. Can I call you back? Sure, absolutely. Okay, bye. Oh, phone call. This is, this is, I'll, I'll, I wish I could edit things out, but I can't. So this is it live and in person. So I wrote my quote. I went over it with marker. Now I'm going to thicken up some of my letters. So I'm just going to make parts, some of the lines in my letters thick and keep some of them thin. And... And this is kind of a fun way to make your letters more interesting. And really in lettering, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make um, the words stand out. So to make the words stand out by making the letters look interesting. We're making the words into art. And sometimes you might make the horizontal parts look thick. Sometimes you might make them thin. You might make parts of it thick. Like maybe I make it kind of angularly thick. That's kind of fun. Like thicker at the bottom than it is at the top. So that's one thing that you can do. I'm going to let you think about what you want that to look like. But you can already see how these words are starting to look different than these words. And you can see that I did that in this too. I have a dream and I only thickened up some of the, the lines in the letters. Um, so after you continue doing that, 
Um, if you decided to make the words kind of the center, then you can go around and start to add, you know, different pictures and shapes around it, like Lisa Congdon did. I can go ahead and add in my clock if you decided to make turn one of your letters into a um, into a, a picture. What's going to be the right time to do the right time? Today it's going to be 3 o'clock. <laughs> All right. Um, and then I have some space around here. So maybe I want to add um, some pictures in. And it doesn't have to be like, you know, everything doesn't have to be clocks. I can add in rainbows if I want or cloud shapes or just shapes. That's kind of what I thought was really super cool about Lisa Congdon. I like how she kind of would connect them. So right now I'm just kind of drawing some different shapes in. Uh, when I'm all the way done, I will go in and add color. Maybe I want to add an arrow pointing. But I'll go in and I'll color in with marker or I'll color in with colored pencil or crayon, or maybe I'll paint it. And I can add patterns inside of some of my shapes. So I'm just kind of trying to go around the outside of my quote. Oh, let me talk to you about what you could do with an O. So with an O, you can, you can thicken parts of The letter. I could keep it like that with just one part, or I could keep the sides thick and the top and the bottom thinner. Um, so maybe I'll add some more kind of leaf shapes in here. I'm liking that leaf shape a lot. I don't have to do all of them in here. Maybe another cloud shape. Maybe you pick a theme and you do all hearts around it. Maybe you pick a theme and you do all leaves around it or all clouds around it or all rainbows around it, just kind of rainbows coming in. That could be super cool. Um, it's really up to you, but, you know, we're looking at uh, Lisa Congdon's work. And so hopefully you, you pick a good quote and then you can either draw a picture and put your words inside of a picture like my bird or you can draw your words in the middle and write pictures all the way around it. So two different options. It's up to you which one you choose. Um, research some of Dr. Martin Luther King's big words or go back and um, watch uh, the video again. And there you have it. I can't wait to see what you do. Remember to fill out your Google form. And if you can, have your parents upload Artsonia and upload a picture. Happy art making, friends.